We're talking about Big E update. Uh oh. Big E update. There you go. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. I set it up, and even there's even a little note that says, Dave, don't press the wrong button. And I pressed it. I was like, where's Big E? And then I read my own note to me. Don't forget to press the wrong button. Big E's back. No, he's not. Let's go. Let's go read what we got here. I'm reading this off Wrestling News. Former WWE champion Big E was the guest after the bell with Corey Graves. All right. I realize my time on the road has definitely made me a nomad. And as hard as it is, uh, we often complain about the travel. But I also realize I think I need to travel. I can't sit home for too long. I get bored. But I love jumping into different projects. Um, I think one of the things. Dude, okay, listen. WrestleNews.co. Look, bro, 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 bro. You, you could have edited that part out. I'm going to be honest here. I trusted you. I went in thinking, hey, this quote is going to be the meat and potatoes about his return. I didn't think it was going to be a fucking line by line of fucking Big E. Big E says that most likely he feels no pain, but he has not been cleared. You want to add anything to the Big E situation? Decided to know that Big E... Well, it's great that Big E can live his life without pain now because, let's be honest, Big E's just like a big old ball of like joy when you watch him on interviews or anything. He's just total positivity. But I'm scared of the prospect of him coming back to wrestling with how bad that injury was. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I definitely want to see him come back, but I also want him to see him be healthy and be happy and all that. And not only that, but like... Um, I don't know Kofi's health. I don't know Xavier Woods' health. But I wouldn't even mind seeing him in the tag team division and him just not wrestle. Just do yeah, the like, entrances like together. How, well, they did it for a good while where it was just um, Big E and Kofi did all the wrestling because Vince McMahon loved the trombone gimmick and wanted Xavier to keep playing the trombone during matches. <laughs> I don't know. That was why he kept Vince. doing the trombone shit. I don't always agree with Vince, but it's safe to say we can agree on that. You know, more trombone. There you go. It's yeah, reportedly the first time he saw it, he started laughing hysterically and told him he never wanted to see Xavier <laughs> without it again. That's awesome. Here's the thing. New Day is the ultimate Vince McMahon vision, but he hit a home run. And not only that, but the three athletes that are in New Day really, really went all in. Because you got to think, mm -hmm. as a pro wrestler, it's got to be hard to go all in on New Day. You know, a lot of wrestlers would be like, oh, fuck that. I'm going to see Tony Khan. Screw that. I'm off to Impact. Oh, I'll half-ass it, but I can't. I'm so embarrassed. Dude, they put their heart and soul into New Day. And... Oh, yeah. I we were In fact, when New Day started was when we were doing the wrestling show before. If you remember, because I remember it was during the period where I was actively watching again. They came out on one episode all dressed in suits, really seriously and aggressive, remember? And then they disappeared for like two, three weeks. And the next time they came out, they were that Southern Revival Church oh, vibe yeah. energy thing New Day at first. And that was whole, their whole vibe was they had like a weird like Illuminati triangle on their chest for their power and they were just all positivity and shit that gimmick was a, a rough deal to get when they first got it and they just made it work yeah yeah and sports entertainment at the highest level and who knows you know if vince is watching wrestling he's like god damn right if everyone put in as much effort into new day as they did fucking gobbledygooker i'd fucking be a billionaire <laughs> all right could you imagine if gobbledygooker had gotten over and that was like an iconic part of WWE history was the gobbledygooker just run, running WrestleMania. I mean, what silly gimmicks? Because big, even though we love New Day and Big E, it, we can admit it's a silly gimmick. What silly gimmick besides New Day do you think got the most over? Doink? And no, Dean Ambrose, prankster Dean Ambrose era. Oh, when he was doing shit this. like hiding inside the present, the present on the stage and shit, that was peak. I don't know. You're using a different word than I'd use. I don't know if I'd use the word peak. You didn't think that shit was hilarious? No, not at all. I'm gonna be. Oh honest. my god, I had so much fun. I did learn though I, while I was talking to someone. I'm I'm definitely a mark for comedy wrestling. I, I'm I'm a mark for comedy wrestling, but it has to be good. 
Like, it has to be top tier. It's kind of, same thing with stand-up comedy and comedy wrestling. If you're the best at your craft, you're beyond amazing. If you're Okay, Kikuchi, new topic, comedy wrestling. Comedy wrestling. I think one, this is just my opinion. If you're a pro wrestling company, there should be only one comedy act per event. Unless, unless you're an all-comedy show like uh, Chikara, even though they're not all-comedy, but it's fantasy. One, one, and it has to be a home run. It's got to be Santino. It's got to be New Day. It's got to be, you know, it's got to be top-tier entertainment. If it's half-assed to Gucci, get the hell out of here. If it's like, what? ha-ha, uh, I'm, I'm Okada with a balloon, get the hell out of here. It's got to be top-tier comedy. We're talking the Dave Chappelle of comedy wrestling and i believe new day has that i do believe Santa santino has that and i do believe if you don't have to watch him 800 days in a row yano has it yano is one of those guys that you find hilarious i have friends like this that you find them hilarious but then you realize that's all they are <laughs> they're like hey this is the joke i say every time right do like, so you think there should only be one comedy gimmick going at a brand? Oh, without a hundred percent, hundred percent, unless so, it's an so, all comedy. Unless it's all comedy. So, right now AEW has OC, definitely a comedy gimmick all yeah. the way through, and they also have the acclaimed. I don't know. Do you think you the acclaimed? Got a with that? Do you think acclaimed? I guess with the Scissor Me, maybe. I don't know if acclaimed. Scissor Me, the, the intros, everything—they're all about making yeah. people pop. Yeah. You have MJF doing comedy shit constantly. MJF and Adam Cole doing comedy right now is one of your favorite things in wrestling. It's true. It's true. If I had to cut any of them, honestly, I'd probably only keep MJF and Adam Cole. And sadly, that's the one that's going to end first. You are, you are a piece of shit. You would cut Orange Cassidy? Uh, I mean, if, if I had to. If I had to, You yeah. would cut Scissor Me Daddy? I, 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 dude, I would just for the simple fact that, goddamn, every day on a Twitch stream, people are like, Scissor Me Daddy, say it. <laughs> yeah, I would Brother definitely Oger. get rid of it. I would totally get rid of it. No, if I was probably not a Twitch streamer, I probably wouldn't get rid of it. But do you know how often people are like, I said scissor me daddy in the chat. Can you please repeat it? Okay, okay, okay. Some of the best eras of WWE had tons of comedy wrestlers. All right, let's hear it. Okay. Like Kurt I, Angle. Yeah, but Kurt Angle could wrestle. I, I guess it just depends. No. Yeah, maybe maybe if you can't fucking wrestle, I don't know. All right, maybe let's look at let's look at. I would just only one comedy. I'll, only one comedy. I'll convince you this way. Right, Some of the greatest more. wrestlers of all time are comedy wrestlers trapped inside wrestling gods' bodies. Kota Ibushi, comedy wrestler. Nah, he's not a comedy. Kenny he's Omega comedy. at, at nah. their heart, at their nah. heart, they love comedy wrestling. Never, I don't Kota want to Ibushi believe this. With the, with yeah, the you, you, you are Ibushi. spreading you are spreading comedy to a fine line. What about you, Kenny Omega? I love Kenny Omega. I'm Kenny Omega is all about comedy. Get out of here. Not Kenny. <laughs> yeah, Kenny's about comedy. So hardcore. Kenny and Coda, pure comedy Get wrestling. Get out of here. That is a romance. That Who is else loves romance. doing comedy stuff? Who else loves doing comedy? Oh, wait, that's right. The American Dragon loves doing comedy shit. Never. I've never seen him laugh mm, once. Yeah. So Not it, once. Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle loves doing comedy shit. I think you're straight. Like, listen. Comedy mm -hmm. is you, you. You are making mm -hmm. it on everything. Saying no. something funny once doesn't make you a comedy wrestler. Kurt Angle only said one thing funny once. Hmm? Come on, listen. Come on. I, I stick Angle by my. I stick by week. my thing. I only want. I want the hahas once. That's You're it. You're piece of shit. I want the hahas once. You don't know what once. you want. I, you don't I do know, know what, what you want. want. I do know no. what I want. No, nah, Kenny Kota Omega Obushi, doesn't. It doesn't Kota agree. And Kenny Omega. That is romance. Okay. That is art. That is they love a comedy thing of beauty. Never. Kota Ibushi wrestled Kota Ibushi a blow up never doll. never laughed a day in his life. <laughs> Kota Ibushi worked for DDT. You don't work for DDT unless you oh, like yeah, comedy. I'm sorry. DDT is pretty hardcore extreme. I, okay, how about this? Com I'll say comedy wrestlers that can't wrestle. We'll get one. And that, that, that takes Big E. And All right, that's fair. That's fair. You know, one. That's like, fair. You know, that's fair. Okay. I'm just saying we should cut Takuchi. That's my point. <laughs> no, that's the last person you should cut. We got we cut got Yano off topic. Can, can we, let, let, let's 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 bring it together. Can we all say we love Biggie and want him back? Can we can we end it? There? Fine, but 
but later I'm buying comedy wrestling now. Oh, you I sick I just put fuck. it on my list. You sick bastard. How could you do that? Yeah. <laughs> there you I wrote are. it right next to Corey Graves' mustache. <laughs>